Hi there, I'm Jeanette Lane for Papercraft Essentials, and in today's video, I wanted to show you how to make this Wallace and Gromit themed windmill card. And I used the really fun, super cute, adorable foiled kit included in issue 174. Now we are so excited to have a Wallace and Gromit themed uh, kit to share with you. Plus there's a coordinating 17 piece stamp set. Now this Wallace and Gromit Kraken foiled collection includes four A4 sized foiled and die cut topper sheets, plus 10 designer papers with toppers and borders. And there's also the 17 piece coordinating stamps showing uh, Wallace and Gromit. They're so cute just showing them uh, being Wallace and Gromit and also includes some of their catchphrases for the sentiments. Okay, so to start off our card, first we need to create our windmill and that's really easy to do. So I'm just going to pick the pattern, find that here. So I chose this wallpaper pattern for my windmill, but of course, if you want a more masculine card, you can go for some of the other papers in the kit. So first thing you wanna do for a windmill is pick your size. So you're gonna cut it to a square sized, and depending on how big you want your windmill will depend on how large you cut your um, paper. So my windmill came from a 12 centimeter square and then my card is uh, six inches by six inches. So I thought I didn't want to make the windmill too large because it kind of, it already overpowers the card a little bit, but it was going to make it like too heavy, too bulky. So 12 centi a 12 centimeter square worked really well. So you want to cut your square. And this is a really easy card to make. I think that you could whip these out, <laughs> whip a few of these out for birthdays and special occasions. So once you have your square, you want to do some cutting. So you're gonna cut four lines here, not all the way to the center, uh, but right here. So from corner to almost about the center, I will tell you the exact measurements in just a bit. So we're just going to put this inside of our tonic trimmer and we're gonna line up this point here and to this point here on our cut line. Then, let me try to get this as close as possible to the top. That looks good. All right, so what we wanna do is cut, uh, I'm gonna set my trimmer to about two and a quarter inches. So right there. So that's two and a quarter inches and I'm just going to cut from the center to the corner. Well, it's not really to the center. So your cardstock will look a little like this. Okay, and then we just rotate it and do the same thing. We'll line up our points on our cut line. That looks good. Move our trimmer down our blade down to two and a quarter inches, which is there. And cut. So now we have these two pieces here. And the same thing for this side. Line up our points on our cut line. Um, pull our blade to two and a quarter inches and trim. And for our last one, it's the same thing. It's so helpful to have the measurements here on your trimmer so that you know exactly how far to cut. So this is what our piece looks like now. And now we can glue this down so that we can um, start the rest of our project. So I'm just going to pull one of these corners here to the center, add some glue on the top and the bottom, rotate it, grab this corner here, just like that. I'm just holding it with my finger so you can <laughs> kind of see the um, gist of it. So, oops. So we're just gonna hold it like that and then, so it's every other corner. And then we're gonna grab this one. I'm gonna be using Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear Glue to um, hold that together, but there is my windmill. Super duper easy, it's so cute even just like that. You can make some fun windmills for like uh, party decor and what like centerpieces. I think it's just a great way, uh, just a quick way to um, do something really fun with your cardstock.
I think my glue has dried and set, so now it's time to add our brad to the center of our windmill. So this is gonna be covered up with our uh, foil topper here, but all you do is just take a pokey tool and then right at the center, you can just pierce it. All the way through the other side, poke it through, and then we can add our brad to secure our windmill. Now when you put your brad through, don't uh, secure it, so don't, you know, Put down the little what are these called <laughs> i don't know what they're called little points little legs <laughs> so don't secure your brad just yet because we're going to put this onto our card front so that it's a functional um a functional windmill so leave that as is set that aside for now while we work on the rest of our card base so here is a six by six card blank this is just green cardstock i needed something a little bit uh, sturdier to you know make my card stand so it won't fall over so i'm going to then cover this up with some more of the wallpaper print gorgeous little print that we have going on so this one i'm going to trim to six by six inches so that it matches our card base so that'll just go right on top. You can do lots of matting and layering with the different patterns in your kit. And then I'm going to um, just take this strip that was left over and I'm going to trim it also to six inches. And then I'll go across our card. But first I need to add another layer to that. So I'm going to grab this wallpaper print, which is really fun and I wish I had this in my house. There's just something really relaxing about it. So this one I'm going to cut to um, five and three quarter inches by five and three quarter inches. So that'll be our square mat. So that gives us a nice border around our card and this will go on top there. And then we can add our windmill. Hooray! This is coming together really quickly. So first, let me glue all this stuff down. I'm going to be using my Sticks 2 tape runner. And the reason I'm not using my Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear Glue, which I love, is because it can get a little bit bulky if I don't spread it out um, with either my finger or a brush. And I'm too, I'm too lazy to grab a brush to do this. So I'm just using my um, tape runner. Now that's something that you want to think about when you are gluing um, things down. Sometimes liquid adhesive can uh, leave your card kind of lumpy, you know, because it has some like thickness to it. So if you don't spread it out smoothly with a brush or your finger, or just kind of, you know, flatten it <laughs> onto your card, then you will get lumps in your um, design. And we don't want lumps. Say no to lumps on your cards. On your cards. <laughs> Okay, so there's that first layer, and then we can add our matte layer. And then we're adding this piece that goes across the center. Okay, so now it's time to attach our windmill. So what I wanna do is position that maybe right there at the center, that looks good. I'm gonna grab a pencil, just kinda, I can have a better gauge of where this is gonna go. So that'll be here at the center, and now I can grab my pokey tool. And I'm going to poke this only through this first layer, so this card front layer. Don't accidentally poke it through to the back because then you will seal your card and it won't be able to open up. So I'm gonna open this up and puncture my hole, pierce it all the way through, like so. And then we can add our windmill. So we put our brad through. Now just a tip when you're securing your brad, make sure that you give yourself lots of leeway. Don't put your brad so tight in there that you can't even spin your windmill. So just a word of the wise, give yourself some slack on your brad and just um, do just a little tippy, um, just these little legs, make sure to give yourself lots of room so that your windmill can actually spin. So not too tight. Okay, so now it's time to pick our topper. I'm gonna go with the same as this one with thanks. So 
here it is next to paella. <laughs> so fun. Let me know if you are a fan of Wallace and Gromit. I am. Oh my gosh, loved watching that as a kid. And then my husband got me um, hooked on it all over again because he grew up watching it as well. So it's just a really fun amazing claymation, uh, some great little films, short films for you to watch. Now to glue the elements to my windmill, so I have my sentiment here and then also some of these stamped images which I'm going to stamp in color in just a bit. So to add all these, I used uh, double-sided tape, so um, I'm using foam dots for this here. Now this is probably the hardest part trying to glue this onto your windmill, so all these elements onto your windmill, but you can, um, it just takes a little bit of maneuvering your foam dots or your double-sided adhesive. So just be patient and you will get it. So just like that. Now for my stamping, I'm going to do some alcohol marker coloring. So I am grabbing my images. And there's lots to pick from, so I have picked this one where uh, Gromit is pouring himself a cup of tea. So I'm going to stamp the teapot uh, Gromit there, and then this one where it's <laughs> him and Wallace waving. So first let me stamp this one. This is just a piece of white cardstock, and the uh, ink that I'm using is a hybrid ink pad by Nuvo, and this is Black Shadow. So this works for both alcohol markers and any watercolor um, type of mediums that you're going to use, like watercolors, or maybe you want to color it with distress oxides or distress inks, you can do that with this awesome hybrid ink pad. So here's my stamping. I stamped this one twice because I didn't put enough pressure there. So let's get to coloring. I'm going to be using a Little Tipsy's alcohol markers. Once you've colored your images with your medium of choice, then you can go ahead and fussy cut all these out so that we can add them to our windmill. So here are some stamped images that I have colored and cut out earlier. So now I can mount these onto my card. So it just really depends where you want to place them. You can switch them around. You can even have one like over here. It's completely up to you. And I'm going to mount these with some more foam dots. And to finish off my card, I have some enamel dots. These are self-adhesive from a craft consortium. So I just wanted to add a few here, just for a little fun detail, an extra pop of color. And I'm done with my card. I hope that you enjoyed this fun windmill card tutorial. Again, it was in tribute to Wallace and Gromit and their inventive ways. If you would like to pick up your own copy of Paper Craft Essentials, issue 174, don't miss it. It's super cute. Uh, you can get that at craftstash.co.uk, moremags.com, at independent craft retailers, and also your grocery stores, major supermarkets. So check your local newsstands.